We're out here on the magnificent Inverell Polo Cross grounds today and it's to talk about the Swan Cup. Really exciting this year, 14th through until the 17th of July. The Swan Cup here at Inverell and to talk to us about us and tell us what the, uh, the concept is all about, please welcome Cameron Neville. Yeah, no, thanks very much Mike. Thanks for coming up and uh, having a look around. Look, uh, Cameron, the Swan Cup uh, has been around for a few years now, um, but really hasn't had the chance to have much of a go given the COVID problems we've had over the last few years. Oh, mate, 100%. Um, this has been in the pipeline now for this is our third year we've tried to have a crack at it. And um, I would say that first year, two years of COVID, last year was weather, all come down to it. And um, look, it's just exciting to, to, to think that we can actually have it now and it's only a month away. So the Swan Cup, uh, tell us what is the concept? What's it all about? Yeah, well, Mike, we, we basically copied what you do down there at Tamworth with the camp draft side of things. And all it is is uh, a horse sale um, alongside a, an open men's competition and an open women's competition. And then the horses that were purchased out of last year's sale can come back and play in their own, own competition. And uh, we've... Um, separated the points a bit to mix it up so uh, it's just not for the top end players all the time. Um, the incentive competition is for six players. One of them's got to be riding a horse that was purchased last year and they're capped at 36 points, which means, you know, trying to cater for anyone who wants to come and have a game and, and buy a horse. Uh, really exciting to see from the 14th through until the 17th of July. The 15th of July we'll see the pre-works at 3 p.m. The sale itself will happen live on site here and be available online from 3 p.m. on the Saturday afternoon, the 16th of July, and all within the environment of a fantastic polar cross carnival. We're really looking forward to it, Cameron. Can't wait to see the Swan Cup kick off in Inverell here mid-July.